Scroll up to the function overview section, then click on add destination. Choose asynchronous invocation for source, on failure for condition, and SNS topic for destination type. For destination, select the SNS topic that we just created, then hit save. Consider this, you have an AWS Lambda function and you want to receive a notification every time it fails. Can you do this using Amazon SNS or simple notification service? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the SNS service, then click on topics in the left menu, then hit create topic. Choose a topic type, give it a name, then hit create topic. Navigate to the subscriptions tab, then click on create subscription. Choose email from the protocol dropdown, enter your email address in the endpoint text box, then hit create subscription. Go back to the subscriptions tab and confirm that the status of the email now says pending confirmation. I'm going to head to my inbox and confirm this subscription, then come back to the SNS tab and hit refresh. The subscription status of your email should now say confirmed. Next, let's head to the Lambda service, then click on create function. Give your function a name, choose Python from the runtime dropdown, then hit create. Scroll down to the code source section. Here, I'm going to copy paste pre-written Python code that starts by extracting the name from event in a name variable. On line three, I'm saying that if the name value is equal equal to Batman, then raise an exception saying sorry, cannot handle Batman. Finally on line five, I'm returning the hello name string. Hit deploy to deploy your changes, then click on test to configure your test event. Give your test event a name, then in the event JSON, I'm going to set a value of Spider-Man for my name key, then hit save. Click on test again to invoke your Lambda function and confirm that you see hello Spider-Man in your response output. Next, scroll up to the function overview section, then click on add destination. Choose asynchronous invocation for source, on failure for condition, and SNS topic for destination type. For destination, select the SNS topic that we just created, then hit save. Next, click on asynchronous invocation from the left menu, then hit edit and change the retry attempts to zero, then hit save. Now, let's try invoking our Lambda function asynchronously using the Cloud Shell terminal. Here, I'm going to copy paste AWS Lambda invoke command and replace function name with the actual Lambda function name. Note, I'm also passing a payload with a key of name and a value of Batman, which should make my Lambda function fail and that should trigger an SNS notification to my email. Hit enter and confirm that you see a status code of 202 which means that our event was successfully placed on the queue. Now, if I head back to my inbox, I should see a Lambda failure notification with the request payload, response payload, error type, and more. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the social media addict apply for a job at Amazon SNS?